Hey guys, and welcome back to a little bit more of, well, ordinarily I'd say choose your own Minecraft adventure, but I think we've gone long enough into this chapter without any discernible choices that I'm thinking maybe it's starting to become time for a new title. Now, something I'd like to ask you guys is if you have any opinions on what might be an interesting title for this show... Also wanted to show you guys I came back to the massive cave entrance number two. Um, I mined out what was over there, and since it was still daytime, I figured you guys really don't need to see me walk all the way back. Anyway, name for the show. Um, I believe I'll still keep the chapter format, whatever the name changes to, so we'll still have 100 plus episodes, and it'll still be chapter 9, 10, 11, like that. But, I don't know, I think, I, like I said, I think it's been long enough that it's... It's time for a change. Um, one I've been toying with, given how much time we've spent down here, and, well, I guess pretty much just down here, because this has been the only cave, <laughs> is the Caver's Chronicles. I don't know. Think on that. Let me know what you think. I think it's an uh, interesting sounding one. Pretty accurate, given things recently. And, I mean, considering caves are probably the most fun thing in this game for me, that it would kind of make sense. But, I don't know. Maybe you guys have some better ideas. I know a lot of you are probably ten times more creative than I am, and can come up with something much more interesting. So. Uh, something else to ask you guys. I was wondering what you guys thought of the 500 subscriber special. Uh, the video and the, the surprise. Believe it or not, that video, just prep time and editing, took, oh, I almost don't want to say it, took around 10 hours to put that together for you. And I, I was really happy with the way it turned out, so I hope you guys are too. Uh, most of the comments that I've seen on that video have been really positive, so I know you guys have been enjoying it. Um, but... What have you guys thought about the tour server? It's something I have actually had planned on doing for a very long time now. I mean, that that from almost, I think, my 100th subscriber, I was like, you know what? I think when I get to 500, I'm going to do that. So, it's been in the works for a long time. So, I, again, I hope you guys have been enjoying that. And some things that I didn't actually make clear in the video, because I figured it would clutter things up, because that video was just really, I think, really awesome the way it was, so adding a whole bunch of text to explain things to you guys would have messed it all up. So, where did you come from? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, some things that... Okay, that was just... Yeah, I think I mentioned before, this cave does not seem to like me talking about anything but it. But I'm going to fly in the face of that. I'm just going to stick my tongue out and just go, meh, at the cave. Because I want to say things. <laughs> I will take your gunpowder, suicidal creeper. Uh, so yes, yeah, some things that I didn't make completely clear. Okay, that is actually a dead end, I think. Every time I was editing, it looked like maybe this went down further, but it does not. Okay. Some things I, ma I didn't make clear because the the way I did the video. I'm going to finish the sentence at some point. <laughs> um, I actually went ahead and made a little fact page on my website. And I actually threw the link there at the end of the video, but I know how people can be on YouTube and it's like, oh, hey... Yeah, that link. Cool. You know, it's sort of the whole cool story bro, but cool link bro. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, basically what that was was kind of trying to explain some of the things that are going on with the server, answer any questions you guys might have about it, what's going on. Um, I think the the one thing I wanted to make clear first was that 
I do want to actually be able to get on there from time to time and join you guys and, I don't know, almost act as tour guide. But that's kind of impossible. That's a pretty big investment of time. But I will try to stop in from when I can. And when I, when I can, I think what I was going to do is send out a tweet about it. So if you're following me, great. You'll already get it. But if you're not, you can always just go to my website. It's always in the, there's always a link in the video description. And I've got actually got a little Twitter bar there on the right side, so if you don't want to follow me, you can at least see what I am tweeting out. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and announce those. Um, now, as far as how long the tour server is going to be available, I planned on leaving it up all the way till 1.8 comes out. So at, I kind of decided upon that because it felt like it was... A good timing, so that way, if I do end up doing this 1.8 SMP thing I talked about in episode 97, that if there is still enough interest in the Tor server, I can transition it to my hosted server, or I can just bring it down and, because there'll, there'll probably have been a lot of changes to it by then, that it'll be a very out-of-date server or something by then. Um, so yeah. I imagine that'll probably be at least through the end of the month, if not a little longer, depending on when Notch actually... how long after... what is it? PAX, I guess. However long after PAX that Notch actually goes and releases it to the world. Because I know he's supposed to have the demo for it at PAX, but is it going to be released to the world the same day he demos it, or is it just going to be like something he puts out a week later? I'm not sure, and, well, again, that that will kind of determine the timing of things. Uh, something else, I know that because I've got a couple um, plugins on the server that mainly keep you guys from interacting with the blocks, that if you end up getting stuck, you know, if you fall down a hole and you're like, oh god, help me, I can't get out, um, I did throw that on the fact as well. If that ends up happening, go ahead and send me a message either here on YouTube or Twitter. Um, Twitter is probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. But go ahead and do that, and I will try and respond to that as quickly as I can, so that way you guys can actually enjoy the tour and not just stare at a hole. <laughs> um, something else. In addition to myself, I've added two, I guess you could call them tour guides. That's just weird. The lava's not even touching it, but there's cobble there. Huh. I'll have to check that out later. Anyway, a couple other tour guides. Those of you who have been at SMP Weekends will recognize these two names. Um, or if you guys just tend to read a lot of the video comments, the episode comments, both Fidri, um, he goes by Penny and Wetwired here on YouTube, and Worth10, or Be Worth10. I think he changed his account to Duh Be Worth10. Hey. There you are. Um, both of them are also, like I said, I'm calling them tour guides because basically they have been authed through the uh, guest mod I've got running. So they have access to the teleport command as well, so if you get stuck, you can you can bug them too. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to love me for having said that, but uh, the three of us are around to handle that. Um, w same as I can't be all around all the time, all three of us can't be around all the time, but I figured with three of us, there's a better chance of having a decent bit of coverage in case you guys get stuck like that, or if you want to go and see something that you don't want to have to walk 30 days to find, you know, in-game. Because I did actually try to set up a bunch of warps on the server, but it seems that the guest plugin and the warp plugin do not play well together. So if you're not on the authorized list for the guest plugin, you're not allowed to do any of the server commands. Even if you're an op, they're blocked, which is really weird, because... I was an op, I had the... I took myself off the auth list to 
test what it would be like to be a guest on the server. And I tried to change the time to day, and nothing happened. I didn't get an error message from the console, I didn't get a time has now been set to whatever. Just nothing. And after a bunch of debugging, it turns out that however the guest plugin determines whether you're authorized to do something, seems to clobber the server's actual ability to... Okay, that's not where I wanted that. The server's ability to actually... or It, it gets in the way of the actual server authorization and server commands. But yes. Um, that is really weird. It's like there was lava here at some point, or... You know what, I wonder. No. Okay. <laughs> Thought maybe there was a lava block under here and wouldn't... Very weird. No. Huh. Strange things in this cave, guys. Strange things. Okay, well, that's a dead end I'll check out here in a second. I want to turn off this water. Um, there were other things I added on that fact page, so if I didn't answer any potential questions you guys have, feel free to go there. Um, it's just blacknocturne.com slash tour. And if you have any other questions about it, feel free to either send me a PM, send me a tweet, leave a comment on this video, or leave a comment on the 500 subscriber video, and... I will try to get that answered as soon as I can. Yep, dead end. Okay. So as huge as this cave is, I'm going to risk saying it one more time. I think we're getting close to the end. Maybe. I went down here, right? Yes. Okay. Just double checking. How do I get over here? <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, no, that works. <laughs> That's weird. How did I get over there? Hmm. A mystery for another day. Uh, something else that occurred to me as I was editing and getting this uh, SMP tour set up for you guys for this world is that uh, given the whole birch tree discovery we had towards the end of last episode was that that meant it was a new chunk, which, you know, I pointed out, that was kind of obvious. But what didn't quite click until later was that this cave, this whole cave, is also in a new chunk. Which means this game really must love giving me caves, because all the caves we had explored previously were in the original chunks that got generated back at the beginning of this LP. So, as soon as I came closer to here when I was exploring in Chapter 5, the game generated new stuff, and... Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Excuse me. I seem to have some burps going on here. I am editing the audio of that out for you guys to spare you, so don't worry. Um, so yeah, the game generated new chunks, and inside those new chunks, it just happened to generate gigantic, massive caves that connected to the old ones. So, I don't know about you guys, but I think this world has actually been trying to tell me that you need to cave more. I mean, I could be wrong, it's just me. But, uh, that's kind of how I'm reading into it. <laughs> So, huh, I could have sworn I started this episode with a full stack of 
torches. There we go. Hey, Mr. Creeper. How you doing? What's your friend doing down there? He looks... I think it's a zombie. Yep, that's a zombie. Um... Hmm. I keep meaning to use these more often. So... I think that lines up pretty well. So let's have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> that worked pretty well. And you guys may have noticed something there. I, I lit it on fire with right click, but it's something I noticed in watching other videos. You can apparently still smack it as long as you've got the flint and steel in your hand, and it'll automatically drop. So you actually don't even have to waste the flint and steel setting stuff on fire durability thing, which is actually really nice and handy. And this makes me nervous. I mean, seriously, one skeleton arrow, and I'm gonna go flying. <laughs> Work myself into a hole. That's kind of bright. Kinda wonder where it's coming from. What the? The the uh... <laughs> the giant room I thought connected to nothing. Oh, Minecraft, you silly game! <laughs> wow. Okay, that that's genuinely funny. <laughs> Ooh, we have some dark lava. Is it hiding more diamond, perhaps? No. Doesn't look like it. Unless it's buried under the lava, and... I don't exactly plan on doing that again. That took a lot of time to clear out all that lava that I showed you guys, I think, again, back in 97. Oof. I mean, it was all for the sake of vengeance, but my... God, I think that took me like two hours, which is a bit of time to be spending just getting rid of lava. Although, the six diamond I found did pretty much make it worth it in the end, so. Alright, so what was down here? Another dead end. Huh. Okay then. At least we got to have some fun with TNT. And at least I remembered it was there this time. <laughs> hmm. You know... Somewhere I just was a couple minutes ago, I was hearing a lot of zombies, and it crossed my mind. I wonder if it's a spawner. So let me head back up real quick and see if I can't hear them making noise again. And I will get back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so it's not a zombie, but I did hear this spider as I was walking through, so I figure let's check it out. I think he's pretty close. He sounds like he's right in the area, so... Let's just see if we can find him. And while we dig, something I forgot to mention in episode 100 when I was finally showing off the cave base and... Announcing the winner, you know, Metal Pig. Um, I don't know if you're still watching the show, Metal Pig. If you're still out there. I know... Well, I won't say that, but... Um, if you are still watching, I was wondering... If you would be interested in a potential prize for your winning entry. Um, nothing too special. Well, maybe it is special to you. I don't... It all depends, I suppose. Um, when Terraria came out, I actually ended up getting the 4-pack. 
And I still have a few copies left. If you would like a copy, I would be more than happy to gift it to you for your winning entry, as I am still really loving the design of the new cave base. So um, if you are out there and you can go ahead and get a hold of me, then and you have Steam, I guess would be an important piece too, let me know and we will work out the details of getting that to you. Um, well, that was kind of boring. <laughs> Just the one spider. Although he did lead me to a new area. Um, well, I think I'm going to go and see if I can't find where those zombies were making noise again. And I'll be right back one more time. I think I might be onto something here, guys. So, I was about to give up, and I was just kind of wandering about, and then I hear this. Ooh, and a spider. Let's see, where are you guys? This way, perhaps? Wow. In stereo, again. Sounds like I may have gone above them. Yeah. Ooh! Look at what I see! Woohoo! And my keyboard's not wanting to. There we go. <laughs> what do we got? Ooh, hey guys! How's it going? So, um, whose dungeon is this exactly? Because <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of everything. Huh? Spiders. I keep forgetting. You can actually see what kind of dungeon it is by looking at the thing. Um, zombie. Stop it. <laughs> Silly. Uh. Woohoo! Uh, I must say though, these these things are getting a lot easier to to sack. I mean, it's still awesome every time I come across one. It's just kind of not really a challenge anymore. I mean, maybe I could I should just run in here with nothing but a wood sword and four torches and see what I can do. But I mean, there's challenging and then there's just downright irritating. So, whoa! That's nice. I have never in my life seen a golden apple without it being hacked in due to some, you know, challenge map or something. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like. Oh, yes. Gravel. Ugh. And what's in this one? Does it get better? Eh, it gets okay. <laughs> a little bit of redstone, more string, another bucket. At least this cave is finally starting to pay me my buckets back. That is nice. I'll say that. Um, do want to grab this up. Wait a minute. What? Why am... <laughs> there we go. That makes more sense. I'm going to go ahead and use this up since it's here. Mmm, full health. I like it. Okay. Uh, guess we can go ahead and grab the string. I mean, I do have the factory still, but, you know, free string in a box, why not? Plus, now I can at least pick up one of these. But not that one. <laughs> Silly me. Did I actually put crap in both boxes? There we go. That's better. Um, hmm. 
So I will actually need to... Uh, one sec, guys, while I think this through. Okay. Um, I saw I had extra dirt, so... Bye-bye, <laughs> dirt. And I believe I learned my lesson with the skeleton dungeon we just sacked earlier. Or a couple episodes ago, so... I'm going to subject you guys to me digging this entire thing out. Just in case we have... More fun and unexpected guests. Although, I guess in a sense I'm the unexpected guest because this is their place, but they're not allowed out anymore, so now it's my place. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, there is one underneath, so... And I usually like to just... leave the uh, light on the same level. I don't know why, just something I've always done. Feels like the right thing to do, I guess. Now, it looks like this one might actually spare us from any undue excitement, so... That's a good thing, I guess. Oh, hey, look. Some iron. I will go ahead and grab that up since I'm here. Don't know if I'll ever come back here. I've already got one string factory. I mean, how many string factories does one guy need, right? <laughs> okay. And let's see. Anything else I can get rid of to take my workbench back? Eh, I guess the spiders can have it. You guys won't damage it, right? Good. Alright. <laughs> well, I'm glad we came looking for this. It's not exactly what I thought, but... Golden Apple. That... That's just freaking awesome. I think that is the rarest item I've ever come across in a dungeon, ever. Oh, and by the way, this is where it was, if you guys do recall any of this area. Um, this is where I started getting jumped a lot by creepers and skeletons. And they were right up there. <sighs> okay. Well, let's see. Since my bags are full, I think we're probably due for a trip back to the cave base. The newly designed cave base. Yes, that's a dead end still. <laughs> Drop off our stuff, and from there... Well, I think I'm going to save the rest of that sentence for when we get there. Although, let's see. Nope, not that way. That's the dark area behind me that I just lit up 10-15 minutes ago. Okay. We went to go this way. There we go. My random cobblestone bridge. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Dare I attempt it? Hmm. Mm. I'll come back for it. <laughs> that will be the next thing we do. I know you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but it would all be clear very soon. Okay, and here we come in from the other entrance. Not a site you guys probably have seen in the videos, but if you've been running around the tour server, then you've probably seen all of this 3,000 times already. So, But anyway, something I was thinking about on the walk back was that something that would be really awesome for Notch to add into this game is like some sort of two-block-high pedestal. You know, just something you could... I don't know, something like this? I don't know. I think one high is plenty. And then... You could just kind of show off your stuff. Maybe one and a half high would be cool. You know, like fence post height. Because I would love to put this on one of those. Just to be like, check it out. That's my golden apple. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let me organize things here and I will rejoin you guys again.
Okay, and there we have it. Felt the, uh, if we, until we can get a pedestal, at least keeping it with the gold felt right. So, <sighs> still such a wonderful sight. Which actually brings me to, what are we going to do next?